friends, we are going to make something that looks like a mutton curry, but actually it's a vegetarian dish made out of raw jackfruit. Let's go transform this into a delicious dish. We have to first chop it up carefully without touching its sap. We'll use some red onions chopped up in fine pieces, some garlic and ginger and some green chilies all chopped up. Yes, of course some tomato for the gravy. So we're going to cook it in an instant pot. We take one fourth cup of uh, vegetable oil, heat it up, we add few pieces of cumin seeds to it to make sure that they're sizzling. That's the right temperature to start the sauteing. When they're sizzling we add one teaspoon of cumin seeds, let them sizzle a little bit, extract their flavor in oil, then we add our ginger and garlic pieces to it. We want to extract more flavor from garlic as well, so we're going to let it sizzle until garlic turns a little bit brown. It takes about a minute or two. Once that is ready, we're going to add our jackfruit to it. Now we want to gently saute it for three to five minutes, but not continuously saute this. We can use this time to add other ingredients as well. So we're going to add some bay leaves and green chilies to it now. Continue stirring it. And during this sauteing process, this jackfruit from its white color it changes into a little bit darker. So at this point we are going to add onions to it and again continue sauteing it. This gentle sauteing in oil makes uh, jackfruit a little bit tender and a little bit more sealed from outside. So this is important that we saute it uncovered. But once we are satisfied, we add tomatoes to it and other spices, salt and coriander powder, two spoons, some red chili, I like a little bit more heat, half a teaspoon will be good, half a spoon of turmeric that will give nice color to it and one teaspoon of garam masala. Once we have added it all in, we mix it all well and once you are satisfied with the mixture, we add half a cup of water from the wall of the pot rather than washing the spices that we just mixed. And then we cover it, pressurize it on a meat setting which is about 20 minutes of cooking on high pressure. Make sure everything is sealed up and it cooks. So 20 minutes later, we are ready to check it. Waha! Wow, looks delicious. Looks wonderful. Let's check whether it's done or not. Best way to check is try to taste it. Looks delicious. Mm, tastes delicious Baby. as well. There it is. <laughs>